Hi everyone, my name is Tom and right now it's Thursday at 1.50. I'm recording this devlog because it's gonna be a bit different. I'm not gonna be here this weekend and hopefully by the time you see it, I'm gonna be skydiving in Florida. So, for the new people who don't know what New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon is, this is a game about the Brooklyn Bridge that was transferred into a park and now the pedestrians are hungry. You have the option to buy food shops and serve your customers. Obviously, your shops will need ingredients, so you can buy factories and take care of resources for your shops. You can also buy these stuff from the marketplace or you can sell your own stuff in the marketplace if you wish so. I added the options to open and close your shops. So this will be a primary target for when a player wants to leave the game. So now you're able to open and close your shops. You're able to do the same thing for the factories and open them up again if you want. As, as I said, this is the beginning for the option to when you want to leave the game, but you want to close down instead of abandoning the game. So as I mentioned in the previous devlog, the multiplayer system needs to be refactored. That was my focus on this week. As I was working on refactoring the multiplayer code, I realized that there is a lot of ping pong going on. So for example, when the client wants to create an order, they send a request to the server, the server responds with either it was successful or not, then the player requests for all, all the orders back, and the server sends this, those orders that the client requested. This is a lot of going back and forth, and I saw it in a lot of places in my code. This is not good because we're doing two requests to the server and two requests to the client. And in some cases, their requests to the client were not to just that one client, but it was to all the clients. So this is a lot of burden on the network, and I worked on refactoring this. So right now, I changed it so this is the way that it does it. The player wants to create something, they send the request, the server sends the, the response back, and all the orders that the player requested. I was also able to eliminate the oversharing of data between, between certain clients. For example, I saw it when buying and selling stuff on the marketplace. When a player was buying something from the city or from other players, this information was sent to all the clients and all the clients were able to see that the, this player is now bought this or that ingredient. This is not good. I don't want to share this. There is no reason for other players to know about the ingredients that I buy. And I refactored it to get, to get rid of that. There was more refactoring done to eliminate ping pong requests among client and server, eliminating oversharing information between clients, and there's there's still a lot left to do. But overall, I'm happy with the progress I was able to do in three days to this week. So before I finish up, uh, this is the current wish list that I have on the game. Um, this week, uh, as you can see, wasn't that good. Only two wish lists in a week. But I already started talking with the um, artist and we will start working on a new capsule around towards end of March. And by the time you're watching this, the Steam Spring Sale is live. So if you want to support me, you can go and buy the game, which is on 25% sale right now. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully by the time you watch it, I'm gonna be somewhere high in the sky. Please wishlist. Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam, and I will see you next time.